Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance. We are going to take and tie a uh, pheasant tail a merger this morning. We've got started here by uh, putting in a uh, 2457 TMC. This has a little bit of a curve to it in a gold bead. Now this um, pattern we're tying is uh, going to mimic the betas that are going to be coming off, or blueing olives as we know them. Um, we are coming into the winter months now, and that will be your predominant hatch. And you're tying this on a monster hook. but normally, It's on a monster but hook. But normally you do it on an 18. Yeah, 18 or a 16. This I think is a 12, which is just so that people can see it. I'm going to cut out some fibers of pheasant tail. Now the important thing to note about pheasant is there's a copper color that you're looking for. That's the, the material you want to use for your body and your tailing material. So I'm just going to tie in a little short tail here. And I'm taking this down on the bend pretty good. I'm going to tie over the material to keep the body symmetry. Next I've got some ultra wire. This is um, small Hopper. I will tie this in up here and then come back. Again, the whole thing with this is you don't want a big lump, and especially when you get into 16s and 18s and you're tying the smaller flies. If you um, tie in chunks of material, you'll have big lumps or uneven bodies. And these fish, you know, especially if they've been fished to a bit, are going to be less inclined to bite something that doesn't look like the real McCoy. Now I will come up to the top and tie in the tips of several strands of pheasant tail. This is going to be the body. I'm going to come clear back and then forward again. Then I will take this material and just use this as my body material. If you have trouble holding on to this, you can use a set of hackle pliers to hold on to it. I'm just going to come up through that, add a little segmentation, plus it will add durability to the fly. I'm using some Vivas thread here, um, 10 or 12 aught just to keep everything on the down low. So now I've got <clears throat> some emerger yarn, hairline emerger yarn, and I will take that and cut it even, slide it in there and tie it in long and then pull it back to get it where I want it. Cinch that down. Okay. And then next is um, some crystal flash, just a strand down each side. It gives it that bubble appearance of an emerging mayfly. Actually, first I want to cut this wing. There we go, we got our little tuft. And I'm going to tie this in up near the head, pull this down this one side grab the other strand, pull it down the opposing side, cut this a little bit longer than the wing, and then the final part of this fly is some peacock curl. I usually take several strands, and I think I've showed this before and I'm going to show you again. I'm going to cut this blunt tips, tie those in first, wrap back through the thorax area, create a loop, bring that around, grab my fancy dancy hackle pliers here, and I will grab this material with the thread that I made the loop and the peacock curl and make a chenille out of it so it's super durable. Make a couple wraps for the thorax. Yeah. 
grab my whip finishing tool, put a few wraps there, and there you have a little pheasant tail emerger.